What is happening, YouTube family? It's Iconic, and we're coming through with another Diablo Immortal video. And this one, we're going to be checking out a new Demon Hunter build for Inferno 1. Let's go. Here we go, guys. I'm going to be showing you the breakdown of the essences, and we'll get into all the intricate details of the build here. We're going to be using False Manifesto, Duplicitous Prophetics, Hellfire, Ruinous Path, The Excavator, Punta Obscura, Flame Spite, and The Hungerer. And what this is going to do for us, it's still essentially the meta build, but we're able to add Flame Spite, the flaming multi shot, into the build. And this also is going to go off and hit additional targets too as well um, with the homing rocket. Now we lose a little bit of attack speed with this build, but we make up for it in our legendary gem setup. So let me show you what I mean. The main gems for the setup is going to be Pain Clasp, Mother's Lament, Gloom Cask, Seeping Bile, and then optional, you can replace these slots with something different, but I have Bottled Hope and Blood Soak Jade. I do think those are going to be two of your best options, especially if you're trying to balance resonance. If you're not too worried about the resonance aspect, you could go with some more damage amping gems or something that actually benefits the build. So for free to play, low spender, everlasting torment, we could swap that out for seeping bile. Gloom Cask, we could actually swap that out for Berserker's Eye. Although I do think Gloom Cask is definitely an essential, but you have the potential to actually have a higher damage output with Berserker's Eye because you're not waiting on it every 20 seconds. You could also alternatively use Blessed Pebble, Carson's Invigoration, Power and Command, Fervent Fang, Bloody Reach. Any of those would be some good swap outs here. And in my new gem slots, I happen to have these in my bag. We've got Hellfire Fragment and Echoing Shade. If I wasn't shooting for the 3K resonance right now, I would probably put in a damage amping two star for Echoing Shade, a Power and Command, a Fervent Fang, a Bloody Reach. One of those would work actually really well here. And I actually probably could do that. Um, this one's only giving me 320 resonance at the moment, so I, I didn't use it for forever either, but kept it in my bag and kind of paid off because I had this. And then my Hellfire, I was swapping in purely for resonance during PvP. And this one's a 5 out of 5 star, 500 resonance. This actually does help out with the burst damage, and I like the way it works with the build. However, this could easily be... The better version of this one right now is Starfire Shard. The new five star gem that just came out basically does what this does on a on a better, higher scale in terms of damage output. All right, let's take a look at our sets. This is gonna be very important to this build too as well. Vithu's four piece, and then we're going to be using the Banquet of Eyes um, two piece set. All right, let's take a look at the Reforge bonuses. So what you want to prioritize is going to be attack speed, beneficial effect duration, critical hit damage, primary attack damage. And if you do have an additional slot open, skill damage would be the last one I would I would put on here. In terms of getting at least three of these together on a slot, it's naturally naturally going to happen with wildfire because of these three skills. But vengeance, especially for demon hunters, is another good one. Getting that 100% increased damage for one second, you're dealing so much damage and you're doing it so fast that you can actually take advantage of this where some classes can't. So I have actually put this on two pieces of my gear to be able to get that bonus. And then everything else is either wildfire or the best skills possible in those slots. For secondary stats, the main thing you're going to want to take a look at would be armor penetration is going to be huge. In H8, before I moved up to Inferno 1, 
I believe I was like 300 or 400 above the cap. So I was dealing the, I think it was like 24, 25 additional increase from the baseline of double damage. Currently in Inferno 1, it seems like they moved the needle quite a bit as I'm 220 lower and I've actually gone up a couple hundred, ar I've gone up a couple hundred in armor penetration. So that, that may be why they consider Inferno, Inferno difficulty, but <laughs> we'll have to see about that. The other one would be your potency. If you can get this up as high as possible too as well, that's gonna help with the damage over time that you're doing with your bleed effect, with your burn, um, as well as your poison from seep and bio. All right, let's check out the build in action. I'm gonna go to overworld here. Oh, let's go to the new zone. So one thing about with these new builds for Inferno difficulty that I want to make sure I actually pinpoint for you guys is there is a little bit of confusion about the new main hand and off hand that you actually can't stack up two different essences that would change the legendary or modify it to be something completely different from its original. So in the case of our multi-shot, we added burning damage to it. We couldn't then actually take another essence and add um, cold damage or ice damage to it. But what we can do is different effects that you can have one that changes the effect of the of the skill. And then your other effect is, or your other essence is going to need to like amp up the damage to it or add a bleed to it but it can't actually change exactly what it is. So how I wanna show this one to you guys is with just using Impale. Now we already had this set up before we even got the main hand, the new main hand and the new off hand, but just to show it to you in action, Impale is going to actually go with my primary attacks now to buff those and every third shot you actually get a knife that comes out from impale and then that knife can actually now do bleeding damage too as well so these are the same essences and when we look here we've got enemies bleeding and then what we added to the build was we did do another offhand that didn't affect this we did multi-shot and then our crossbow shot will actually penetrate through targets. So when we're in a group, we can now hit the targets that are behind them too as well. All right. So in action, what we do is, I mean, an overworld, this is why I say it's too much damage. You can just fire a multi-shot and pretty much get out of there and they're going to die. But we're going to fire that multi-shot. And then we're going to just activate all of our skills. As you can see, look at the crits that we're doing. We're essentially critting all the time. Vengeance is going to do actually a lot of the work for you. I'll show this in an Elder Rift. And for our stances, um, we're actually going to want to be in the defensive stance most of the time. Since we don't have a movement um, ability, this is going to help us out a ton. See, we instantly delete things. I mean, it's really not even any sort of a contest with these enemies. Now, this is going to have the same... 
HP scaling as Overworld when you're in an Elder Rift. Things just get erased. And I mean, we like I said, you can just hit them with the, the multi-shot there. And that's going to do a ton of damage. through this real quick here and get to the boss and show you how quickly we're going to go through the boss and then we're going to switch our stance the boss is gone like that now let me show you how effective this is in dungeons we're going to run through a solo dungeon here and inferno all right check it out we're going to have everything right now Look at these crits. All dead. How splendid. Come, let us meet up with Tal Rasha before he too is a corpse. Oh, look at these elites. I'm going to add in a lot of these guys have 200,000, 300,000, 500,000 health. I think I saw a couple with 800. We got a yellow. He's got 3 million health. Look how quick we take him out. Gone. He's got 15, but it won't take the whole thing here. Let's see how much it'll do. They definitely increased him on Inferno. <laughs> I haven't done instruction, destructions in on Inferno yet. That was 5 million HP on that guy, and that was without my vengeance being up in the beginning. Alright, let's see how quick we take Bail down. I don't have vengeance yet. Here we go. There we go, folks. Brand new Demon Hunter build. Again, it's something we've been using, but we're adding multi-shot into the equation. And then we definitely need to have our set pieces right and our legendary gems a specific way to be able to take full advantage of this build. But hope you guys like it. Let me know what builds have you guys been working on since you came into Inferno difficulty. And if there's any suggestions, anything you want me to try out or add in, let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.